It's an exciting day here at Digesting Beer Enterprises. I'm gonna try a beer unlike anything I've ever had before. The Barrel Aged Blended Oktoberfest from Oxbow Brewing in Portland. They are one of the premier interesting Belgian style brewers in Portland that they, I guess there's, there's Allagash that I was always doing great sort of Belgian styles there, but at Oxbow there's just something a little bit different, a little more cutting edge. I don't know if you could really say that because I'm always, there's always awesome new Allagash sour beers coming out. <clears throat> But Allagash has never done anything like this one. Their Oktoberfest is a seasonal they do, which is a smoky amber saison, which I've never had, but it's their kind of take on an Oktoberfest style in their own experimental belgian -y way. Um, and then what they did with this one, as you can see in the label, it says 12, 13, 14. They then took their smoky saison, age it in barrels and blended old and young versions like a lambic beer. So they're really just taking on so many different European ideas of beer making and aging and blending and doing it in America, which is what America is known best for. And I've never had anything that's that's a barrel aged sour that's smoky, that's a blend of things. I've had some <clears throat> interesting smoky sours from, you know, like a traditional Gretzer or Grudetskia, the Polish wheat beer that some people say should be sour, some people shouldn't say it shouldn't be sour, a lot of people say it should be extremely smoky, and I've had some good smoky sour beers that were Gretzers, but those are super complex. They're more of a kind of Berliner Weisse that's smoky, basically. So low alcohol, simple. This one has been barrel aged. So the youngest beer in this, I believe, is um, from this past year. They don't say... Yeah, fresh ale is blended with batches that have been ripening in oak barrels from the previous years. So I'm guessing that means that they have some 12, 2012 beer in here, so that's like three and a half years old at this point. Um, and then 2014, so I'm assuming that was, it was all barrel aged, I think, because they don't say 15 on here, because I think, I know they definitely made a batch last fall that wasn't oak aged. So I think it's just basically one and a half to three and a half year old beer that's been elk age blended together very much in the same way as a Guza would be where they blend old and young lambic beers that have been aged in barrels and they just find the, the best mixture that works really well and that's what they did but they did it not with a simple wheat ale um, that was taken over by the wild beast they did it with a smoky saison and I've heard really great things about this beer. I'm probably going to regret not buying two bottles of this. Um, I think that's that's all I need to say about it so far. Explain what it is, because I don't know what to compare it with or anything. I'm smelling a little a little sourness already. Let's see. Oh yes, lots good amount of carbonation. Kind of thin, bubbly head. Ooh, very clear amber. I mean, at this point, this looks like an overcarbed uh, Oktoberfest, really. And that's what's cool about it. But we'll see how smoky this is. Because I heard some people say it's pretty smoky. And I love smoky. I love sour. I love oak. Ooh. Oh, man. There's a lot to, to, to deal with right now. It's a lot of sour cherries, a lot of light toffee and uh, like caramel apple tartness. I think they're mixing with all those intense phenols. There's a little bit of smoke. 
but it's highly carbonated. The head is lasting surprisingly long, considering how tart it seems, but it doesn't seem like, like it's going to be too sour. Mm. Big, big aroma. Maybe just a hint of some sort of a band-aid-y smoke happening, happening, a little bit of clove on it, almost. But it's ridiculously clear. Like all the sediment in their in their beer settles to the bottom really well, but it's just so well bottle conditioned. Those bubbles are coming up almost like it's almost like a really lively lambic beer mm, or guza. Mm. Ooh, oh baby, the smoke comes in real strong in the flavor mm. and lingers, and it's. It's tart. It's not too tart. It's caramely. It's got lots of cherry. It's got vanilla. It's like got some Coca Cola nuttiness to it. And nice smoky mm, tannic oak. Finishes with a lot of smoke. Oh, I'm so glad the smoke is still present in there. Sometimes it can fade, but ooh, this is really special. Mm. You get used to this, the smoke a little bit after one taste. But that was fantastic. I've not had anything like this beer before. The sour and the smokiness is just perfect. It's got that hint of like a rubbery band aid smokiness from those medicinal phenols that come out of a smoke malt and also from intense Belgian yeasts and wild yeasts. But the wild yeast isn't bringing it out too much to bring it quite to like Robitussin levels. It's also only 6% alcohol, according to the label. So it's no, not not too much burn. It's, it's not too sour. I mean, the sourness is definitely there. It's tart, but it's not too much. It's perfect. It's... Mm. I just kind of wish the smoke were a little bit more in the aroma. But it's... Filling my mouth and my throat with <clears throat> almost uh, maybe they use peat peat smoke malt. It almost reminds me of scotch. There's, there's a little bit of the scotch thing going on. It might be because of the barrel presence too, and like this, and the very malty quality to this. Um, there's still a teeny bit of sweetness I think going on. Mm. But it's soft, almost fluffy. And there's lots of cherries and almost almost tropical fruits but still just a little bit too toasty to be like some oak age bretonomyces beers that are a little more pale and they can seem real tropical fruity the, the bretonomyces isn't, isn't coming too much just all the the souring elements and the oak and the and the funkiness is mixing with that smokiness in one kind of a smoked cherry thing going on. But there's toffee and there's apples, but it's not too much like some sort of cider, which I noticed with some sour beers and Brett beers. It's like, oh, this is just like, seems like it's some funky fermented cider. It's, it doesn't have that. It's a solid firm malt character and Really beautiful, consistent carbonation. You can see the bubbles in there. This is just a really creative and, and masterfully put together beer. Mm. I want to try the regular version of it, definitely now, but it's, the, it's like smoked apple and pear. And maybe there's a little bit of a sort of juicy peach element. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Like a grilled peach actually makes a lot more sense. Where you've got a little bit of smokiness and a little bit of caramelization. But then it's not sweet. Mm, it's, this is an amazing beer. Mm. And the tannins really fill in. 
with the smokiness and the finish to dry it all out because it's not too um, sour to really dry out all the sweetness because there's still just a little bit of sweetness and I don't know how they do that with a beer like this and not just have the, the beer explode <laughs> um, because of all the wild yeast eating everything. You could age this further but this is just it's so perfect right now. Mm. And I only lightly chilled this and it's perfect like this. I think you would miss some of the smokiness but there's just so much going on. And there's also like the, the the fruitiness is almost like plums actually. It's less ch less cherry and more like a tart plum. Plum and peach might describe it pretty well. If you can ever get to Portland, um, the blended Oktoberfest. There's nothing like this in the world to my knowledge. Maybe some other great experimental uh, sour brew, American sour brewers and barrel agers have done something kind of like this, <clears throat> but I've never experienced anything like this beer before. Like I'm not getting much farmhouse saison pepperiness. Maybe there's a little bit of a spicy peppery in the finish, but it's become something that's really, really unique. Like using the goose, goose type blending and aging process combined with saison yeast and then smokiness and also being a reinterpretation of an Oktoberfest style. Um, sounds like a total mess, but this beer is completely refi refined and elegant and all the elements come together to form something that is, I've never, I've never seen before in beer and I don't think most people have ever had before. I'm gonna give this one a 9 like a nine and then nine point two five or something like that. Ninety three. It's it's very nice. And I think Oxbow, if they can if they keep expanding, they've got still got some space in their Portland bottling and blending room. They're gonna start getting a little more well known. I think they're they're showing up at some sour beer festivals around the country but this is this is really great so we'll say 93 for the oxbow blended oktoberfest see ya